episode. Actually, it's not even another episode. This is a new season, right? New season. New season. So this is season <laughs> one, two, one, two. Math one, these days one, is hard. Two. Episode three. No, season, <laughs> season three. three. <laughs> season three of uh, Black Spark Cafe. We got new music, um, new intro. New dance new, moves. Who will do a dance? Tell oh, me where okay, to go. Okay. Tell me where to go. Okay. Tell me where to go. Okay. I'll do that. Um, <laughs> And we have obviously a new host. Um, so I'm gonna, you guys know me. My name is Anthony, aka Lay Scoop. Um, I have been on season one, season two. I'm the only one that survived all three seasons. <laughs> it might be because I produced the show, whatever that case may be, but I've survived all three seasons. But um, we're gonna introduce to you our girl. It's your girl Earl, aka Ariel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a single mother. Uh, single is the key word. Attractive, 46, 28, shaped like a Barbie doll. Not really, um, more like a rectangle. Uh, <laughs> but no, really, I uh, lived in Missouri, grew up there, went to school, studied theater and writing, and I love to hear myself talk. That's good. Yeah. This is going to be a lot of talking though. I do I it when imagine. I sleep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, often. that's creepy. Yeah. Well, you know what? In all things creepy, <laughs> this is our Halloween episode. So, um, yeah, it's a Halloween episode. Yeah, that is kind of creepy. Huh? It yeah. is. It's creepy. So, like, does people record you? Tis the season. Uh, <laughs> do people record me <laughs> when I, no, I talk in the shower, on the toilet. Uh, when I'm sleeping, <laughs> just, just, just wait on it, wait okay. on it. It's okay. going to be like a new thing. Yeah. It's going to go viral. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely something that might go viral. Well, I, talk, I play video games on the toilet, but I have three kids and that's how I get away from my kids. That's bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> that's germs on whatever device you're using well, to play these games. Hey, listen, sometimes, you know, you need a little shit on the phone, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's just a little bit of shit on the phone. Wow. Um, I mean, it's always shit on the phone, so. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. It was good. Um, so, how was your weekend so far? Uh, my weekend was great. Um, it started off, though, uh, telling a friend that I refuse to watch The Haunting. The Haunting of Hill House, I think that's okay, what it is, okay. on Netflix. Like, season two is coming out. Okay. They tried to get me to watch the first season. No one really told me what it was about. Watched the first episode vomited, haven't gone back <laughs> since, you know. Listen. It's, it's a surefire way to get me to unfriend you. So this, this is going to be a tough episode for you. This is going to, I'm sweating oh, right okay. now. Okay, so well, listen, yeah. you know, I, I mean, I love things Halloween. Um, you know, I love the candy, I love the gore. You like candy blood. corn? No, I don't think. It's literally the worst thing that you can yeah, possibly get for Halloween. No, you know what it is? Like, you remember those, um, when they have those little squishy candies, uh, and they don't have a they don't have a name on them. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, like when the kids go, like they always get the little squishy candy with no name on them. I always assume they got drugs in them, so I talk to them. Those folks are like, uh, you know what? No, those are the nasty candies. I don't even know what those are. The Tootsie Rolls that are not chocolate, like the other flavors. Is Tootsie Roll chocolate? I thought it was. I don't think it's. I told my daughter it wasn't chocolate. Oh. I thought it was ice. I thought it was like a like a right. nougat or like a. I thought it was chocolate. I don't think it's chocolate. Oh, well, thanks for ruining my childhood. So it might need to fact check me on that. <laughs> thanks for ruining my childhood. Those girls are gross too, oh. just like candy corn. Okay. Like with the candy corn. So what else did you do this weekend? Um, you know, I went to the strip club. Ooh, ooh okay, it's okay. Frightening. I don't know if you've ever been to a strip club over, you know. Where I'm from, <laughs> Jacksonville. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, we have some good selections. They keep, you know, I don't. They keep getting rated, so you know, I prefer, you know, not, did not to, really go to the <laughs> Like I would prefer. But if I did, I imagine that I would see the souls leave these women as they walk around. What? That is like an excellent. Profession. You know, actually, where I went to school that there was a lot of pregnant strippers like on stage they should make a movie about that they should make a horror film about that pregnant strippers yes 
Like, could you imagine she's up there and she's like spinning around the oh, pole? Oh, I, I see that in real life. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 she's like spinning around the pole, pregnant, belly's just like, and then all of a sudden, baby just, bleh. horror movie. Perfect. Oh, okay. Right. It's perfect. I would scare. <laughs> what do I do? And she's like, ah, <laughs> I, I, I think we found the right guest. Like, I think we definitely found the right guest. Like, I don't know how to help um, you. So every season I do this. Um, please, if you have all hate mail or complaints, but at the end of this episode, I will flash her uh, email <laughs> as well as her all. Just feel free to write those things out. Um, if you're a director and you feel like you want to publish that, um, Feel free to message her, you know, on the uh, the old computer thing. Wow. Uh, yeah, because, uh, listen, I don't need my box. Last, well, yeah, last you know season, you're I had right, a lot of You're right. Mail, so. Put my stuff up there so that way when the director wants to okay. make the horror film of okay. the pregnant stripper, I get my credits. Okay, cool. We're cool. good. Cool. We're good. Cool. cool. Yeah. Cool. You might want to copyright that before we leave. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. So this weekend, uh, so. We had a pretty good weekend this weekend. We so we do our our everybody that works for EB Network, the whole networks. We usually end up doing our quarterly retreats. So you got to come down. Yeah. So now we're we're in Orlando. So our new set and um, so it's pretty good. You know, new new set. Um, we didn't do anything like we were supposed to do this retreat. Usually we do like um, some exercising, some mind stuff. That's but luckily, exercising. I wasn't exercising is. Scary. This episode is like, becoming no really, yeah, really terrifying no. for me. Like you gotta cleanse your mind. When you when you own a small Quantum business, movies, you gotta like cleanse your exercising. mind. Exercising. This is just going in a direction that Listen. I was not prepared for. You gotta, you gotta clear that, clear that mind, you know. And um, uh, I would be bad. <laughs> well, look, I, I don't know. I you know, I definitely don't know. I, I enjoy our retreats. Um you know, we had a pool, Airbnb the Airbnb. The Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a pool, uh, the maid service, they don't start till 11. That was different. So, <laughs> maid service didn't start till 11. But, you know, in all, you know, in, in all fairness, you know, it's a beautiful house, beautiful pool. Yes. Um, so. Well, in the spirit of the season, and mm. I'm not talking about Christmas. Oh. You know, people be trying to, like, fast forward as soon as fall yeah. hits. Well, I, you Christmas. know what? I like Thanksgiving. That's my favorite holiday. In the spirit of this season, <laughs> the spooky season. <laughs> love to know what your top five all time you know since you were a wee little lad scary movies are oh okay. and i'm pretty sure mine are gonna be better okay let's see no no i think mine's are pretty good let's see all right so if we talk about we a wee lad i would probably say so i would go with darkness falls so it's not scary yes it is it's not scary it's too fair and too fair See, uh, you know, you don't want the Tooth Fairy coming. Nothing about Darkness Falls was the scary. The Tooth Fairy was creepy. When was the last time you saw it? <sighs> um, I had to watch it again as an adult so that way I can get over the... Like within the last few years? As yeah, it? yeah. It's yeah. funny. You should go back and watch it. It's no, quite no, hilarious. No, it's funny. Definitely. So that's, funny. that's uh, I'm going to go with Darkness Falls. It's hilarious. Um, I'm a huge, huge Rob Zombie fan. So any movie that Rob Zombie has... I'm pretty much cool with okay. so House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, he's got a new one called Three from Hell mm. that's on Netflix. Mm. I know you're not gonna watch it. No. Yeah, but if you accidentally <laughs> scroll and accidentally, accidentally. click, yeah. Even when the work. trailers come up, you know how Netflix is trying to be slick now yeah, and they have the yeah. trailers play automatically. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what it's called. It's called movie. We, we just move through that. Yeah. I got moved real fast. Uh, I'm like, oh, or just um, keep going. Let me see. So you got that? We got. House of um, Anything Raw Zombie, uh, Blair Witch. Classic. Blair, that, was, that was good. That was classic. Um, that wasn't true. No, no, it wasn't true. But they're coming out with a video game. Definitely gonna. No. Yeah, definitely gonna play that. No. Um, also, they. Let me see. Speaking of video games, scary video game for me, because I don't play anything Did scary. You Resident Evil? I was gonna That's say Bioshock. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Scariest game I've ever played in my life. No, see, you haven't played like Outcast. Outcast is definitely Outcast. You don't have any gun. All you have is a camera with a light, and you have to keep changing the battery. And you're in a mental asylum, and people are chasing what? you. Oh man, you didn't play Manhunt on Rockstar back in the day. Minecraft? Is no. that what you said? <laughs> no, I didn't. Minecraft. Manhunt. Windows Minecraft. <laughs> that was scary. Oh, see, see. You never knew when you were going to hit Mario. a bomb. I thought you were going to say Mario. Why would Mario be scary? 
Because, you know, there's ghosts in Louise's mansion. So I figured that was kind of be like... No! Oh, okay. 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 I, I don't know. So your movie list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let me see. Where are we at? We have Blair Witch. Mm -hmm. We have Rob Zombie. Um, Darkness Falls. Not scary. Definitely scary. Um, so Stephen King had this movie called Langleyers. Mm -hmm. It was like 12 parts long. So it's like Roots. Yeah. But scary. <laughs> yeah. Which is, well, Roots is scary. scary. <laughs> so, uh, that's like 12. It was like 12. That was, oh yeah. Langoliers and Quarantine. Quarantine. Because I don't like when non-minorities <laughs> keep messing with shit. <laughs> like, we should love. Like, so, I think I only watched that movie once and I was good. See, see. I was yeah. good on that. Yeah, no, I don't like minorities. Not minorities messing with shit. Leave shit alone. <laughs> Leave shit alone. You go hear me say that throughout the rest of this episode. Leave shit alone. Mm, interesting. Leave alone. Interesting. Wow. What's your top five? Um, you, can't, I mean, you can't beat that list. At least it's that list. Uh, actually, for all of you movie buffs out there, all of you scary people. You probably gonna be like Toy Story. <laughs> as a child. <laughs> as a child. <laughs> The scariest thing that I can remember as a child, as just, I don't even know why anyone would ever put this on when I was in the room. Maybe I was asleep. I do not remember anything else about the movie besides the very end and the haunting I'm a Little Teacup. I have not watched it again as an adult. I will, no, I will not go back and watch it again as an adult. But it's a movie called The Storm of the Century. I looked it up later in life. And in the movie, all I remember is that there's this creepy man with a cane and he whistles I'm a little teapot and like anything that is a child like a child song like a childhood nursery rhyme anything like that that they put into a scary movie gold you terrify me for the rest of my life and in the movie I think he like asked him he's like a demon or a devil but he asked them for a child and at the end of the movie you hear the whistle again I think it's Stephen King it is Stephen King I'm googling it now it's Stephen King it is Stephen King it's Google. that's pretty terrifying I'll probably go watch that when it's we get back. scary um, and then also, not a movie, well, kind of a movie, and back in the day, snow on the TV and all that was just like, oh, paranormal. And so, <laughs> when, <laughs> when Tales from the Crypt came out, and my parents were like, can I sleep with you? But you know, parents like to have their nighttime, and they would watch Tales from the Crypt, and I would be awake with one eye. And that old, was she a woman? I don't even know what she was, but she's terrifying. The movies were terrifying. The snow that HBO was like, HBO, shh, bah, and it comes it's up. Like it's like It's terrifying. It's <laughs> even to this day when I watch things on HBO, I mute that part because uh, I was traumatized. Yeah, so the I was classic. traumatized as a child. It's a classic. Exactly, which is why my list <laughs> is better than yours. I'm glad we agree. I'm glad we agree. Um, so <laughs> my number three, all time three, all time scariest thing ever. Made me love Billie Holiday. Made me also terrified of Billie Holiday. Have her on record now. Like I purposefully had to have a record player with her on it because Jeepers Creepers. 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 Where did you get those peepers? Terrifying. Not only, Classic. first of all, the truck itself, creepy. The, creepy, the truck that he's driving. Whoa. The fact that he's tall, he's in this trench coat. And then when he flies, oh my gosh. It, that does it for me. Anything that can catch me when I'm running, like you might as well, I just, I'm, I know that I'm just, this it, I'm dead. That's this, it. This list. I can't even run for it because you're just gonna, like, yeah. that's it. This, this is um, number four for me, I would have to say, as a high schooler, the first time I ever cursed in a movie theater, I was sitting in the front row, it's in the ring when she's coming out of the TV. Cause okay. you know, up until that point, okay. we had like seen her come out of the well. Well, you were probably scared because of the products that she used in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's scary. I don't know, like, she had inches. It was wet. Yeah, but it was wet. And you, she that's just wet wavy. That's what, uh, you yeah, know, the celebrities be looking that's like. That's dangerous. They be looking like that on the red carpet. Wet hair. Yeah, well, yeah, but that's how they get And Sia wears hair over her face, too. We're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but terrifying. Um, and then lastly, I would have to say that my all-time scariest is going to be the one movie that I actually vomited on. 
Um, so you vomit when you get scared? I do a lot. Uh, okay. I do, you should hear about the other thing. I vomit, I gag, I urinate. That's, I freeze. That's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much all of the liquid. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Um, so, all time scariest. I watched it in college. My friends made me watch the ending. It already played and I heard it. So, I was like stimulated and traumatized. And then they rewound it and made me open. They pried open my eyes. Paranormal activity. Oh, <laughs> the first my, one. The good. first one was terrifying because, like, first of all, she told him, I don't feel good. I want to go. He wanted to stay. He was doing his little experiments. And then she really didn't no, feel good. When she goes downstairs and screams his name. Yeah. But, done. again, like I said. <clears throat> and I thought it was real. It, you thought it was real. Well, yeah, yeah. So I, I would have put that on the list. But the, the, the biggest issue was that is he invested in a home. So when you make that type of investment, Burn it. no matter what, <laughs> burn them down and call the insurance company. <laughs> Light them up on fire That's an and investment. call the insurance. So I understand company. where Michael was coming from. No, don't no. figure this out. Light like it on fire. And when wrong. they ask you why, and they probably had a thirty-year mortgage too. Light it on <laughs> fire. And when they ask you why, I'd be like, Ugh, I got proof. Scary. No. I wouldn't even save the videos because it's probably transferred into the camera. It's like, oh, you plan on lighting this on fire? Let me go somewhere. Yeah, no, that I know to the neighbor house. Piece. See? Too much. Well, listen, Too much. so, I mean, your list is better than yours. It's definitely not. There's a lot of good classics on there. Nothing that would scare you. It'll just like. Well, first of all, yeah. the Tooth Fairy. Definitely, that's always <laughs> When Darkness scary. Falls was not scary. It's scary. No. But um, you know what? We can segue from your parallel activity <laughs> to what we should do with kids. For Halloween, or what to do for Halloween? Terrify them. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, not kids. I don't think kids should be. Um, what you, you should know, do for kids for Halloween? What should you do? What should you do Halloween? Period. Okay. Like I know, watching scary movies is definitely one. Mhm. Mm um, Hocus Pocus is gonna be on. That's scary in itself. That's a horrible. Movie. A boy. It's scary life. That's horrible. <laughs> um, I know dressing up. Dressing up is definitely a good thing. Yeah. Halloween um, parties. Yeah, you know. I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. Right? Uh, you got your Killmonger vibe going on. You're know, basically I mean, almost I there. Really, I really like my, you know, I enjoy my new look. <laughs> uh, I don't have Killmonger's body, but I have Killmonger's I ain't say hair. That. You know, so, you know, that's all I like. I'm working on it. Well, I don't want to have to do, like, I have to, you have to kill people to get all those things. All those boils that my man had? Oh, that's what they were? My dog had leper, <laughs> leper <laughs> <skin>. <laughs> Call of Duty kills. Oh, my whole body lit. You know what I mean? Call my, of my, my real life kills. Oh, the I'm video like, game. Yeah. On the same page. What other Call of Duty do you know? I have no idea. I don't play video games. Told you. Bioshock. Oh, Tricky little girl did it for me. Let now, me if you're talking Crash Bandicoot. You know, you know what? I think everybody should go. So, there's something in Atlanta where you can um, get chased by zombies in the woods. I repeat they give that you paintball guns. And you only have like, but they give you like enough for a revolver, so you get like six bullets. That's it. And so, so you have to like think, like make educated. So you have enough time to think when you're being chased by zombies because oh, I'm thinking about no, no, no. no. See, when I'm getting chased by anything, a mouse, a, a palmetto bug, a love bug, any of those, there's no time to think. Um, I. Urinate. I'm thinking about <laughs> all of the items that are going to be coming out of my body. No, I don't have time to think about the seven Listen. bullets and where I'm going to use them. You, you know what I'm thinking me. about? I'm thinking about pushing <laughs> whoever is the slowest. <laughs> like, like me. I grab them by the head, like, Ugh! and then I'm going. That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. I already know when it comes time. May the odds ever be right. in your favor. We are double tap family. That's what we specialize in double tap. I so, love my child. Oh, no, double but tap. I'm double tap with Let me kids, tell you. All of them. Just. Wife. Ah, just be like, save yourself. Like, that's, and that's probably what I would do if I six bullets. So, wait, everybody gets bullets. You want all the survivors. I'm tripping bullets. everybody and I'm taking guns. Well, I would just shoot, I would randomly shoot people in their legs. That's pretty smart. Thank you. Thank you for. Fixing my strategy. I'll shoot you your leg. You gotta go down because you gotta shot the leg. And you know, ooh. take your gun. 
Now I've got time to take a gun. You shoot and run. That's no. Right. Yeah. You, you gotta make calculated you decisions. Tripping. That's a good idea. Thank you. You shoot and as they're running, it's like action movie, like pew, and then the gun flies in the air, and then you're like, you want to catch it? And you catch it, and then you. Now and I have a lightning yeah. bullet. Pretty much. And there's hundreds of zombies. <laughs> action packed. Yeah. You're not allowed to go and be on If you're gonna go out, you might as well go out like a gangster. Like, you know, like. You know what? That's true. Yeah. Because when, and Walker but you would take when, your kids um, to this? when everybody hate Chris, when he, when oh. he died, <laughs> that was so disrespectful. Like, I, I, listen, I don't wanna die like that. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> like, in a revolving door. Like, See, I, if I'm dying in a revolving door, I'm gonna make sure that you're not gonna wanna eat me because I'm gonna be. Throwing up. Oh, they, they don't care about that. Dude, who wants you to see their that? faces inside? Mm -hmm. Gross. Um, so you would take your kids to that. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna call the best on you. <laughs> um, I That's would take my experience. kids trick or treating to the bombest neighborhood with the largest candy bars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people who put the white sheets on the screen. They be playing Thriller. So I'm Oakley. Even though I know Mike Jackson. Is West Side. It's kind of. <laughs> West Side Oakley, Palm Beach area. No, you can do that in Ocean Way. You ain't never seen the trailer wrap a sheet around it. Oh, God. <laughs> That's, I love Ocean Way. That is my place. No, I'm, de I'm definitely. Ocean Way is scary enough. No, I'm definitely. <laughs> Without I, Halloween. You no, know? no. We call it wrong turn. <laughs> that, 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 you know, well, you know, yeah. Because if you go, yeah. Down the wrong turn. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, scary enough as it is. I don't know about trick or treating because the kids don't really get to. It's hard because yeah. you gotta be, you gotta be like, oh god, it's three o'clock at work. I gotta be off at four. Who gets off at four these days? And they start trick or treating at like five, at one, one p.m. <laughs> <laughs> School's not even out. Kids be like, like, people be like, what? dang, yeah. I haven't even you, put my wig on. Know, like well, my biggest thing is they don't have any good candy. Like all the candy is shit. Like there's no good candy. Like, Speak for yourself. That's Maybe why you should come to Ocean Way, where we hand yeah. make our candy. <laughs> Meth, Skittles, and <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Again, all your complaints. Make sure you <laughs> <laughs> no, lucky, I love Pecan Park Ocean Way area. Listen, it's like I'm... quiet, it's perfect, it's, I love it. Mm. It's a little piece of history. I mean, I think, I don't know what else, that's pretty much it for things to do. No, 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 for kids, I mean, the mall, sometimes they do trick-or-treat and stuff. The mall Take, still exists? Yeah. Know? You know, Regency is dead, so. Who goes to Regency? I'll be at the Avenues. Oh, the Avenues still bumping? Yeah. Oh. Avenues got Auntie Anne's pretzels. Everybody has it. The town center <laughs> has Auntie Anne's pretzels. Uh, but the town center has terrible traffic. And you gotta do, like, nowadays, people are so just, like, not a part of doing trick or treating. So they do um, trunk or treats. Oh, so yeah. those are those yeah. are actually really really cool. No, I know that's that's pretty good with the the trunk or treats because, but you might want to clean your trunk out before you trunk or treat, like, cause I don't want you like. I'm selling DVDs, candy. CDs, yeah. candy Car bars. bars. You know what I'm saying? You got to need your woman needs and necessities. I got those too. I got all of that. Anything that you need in the trunk, fire sticks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got it. Anything you need, that's haunting. You open up the trunk, you be like, Listen, hey kids. If, I, if somebody, <laughs> like, at, if, if you are at a trunk or tree and you are <laughs> giving away fire sticks, I need an address. Yo, I would be do there. you know? You be like, oh, that, you be like, come here, little boy. I got <laughs> fire sticks. Well, you know, the kids look at it like, what? Like, what? And that's like, my like, oh, oh, that's for me. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, man, I, I think that's, majority of yeah of you can stuff. do that with kids yeah just think out of the box for kids i mean but nowadays they got like military grade costumes oh, yeah. swat costumes yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying they got everything for kids these days so i would definitely say you know do those things or if you're you know like you and you want dfs called on you take your kids to the so middle of the woods and have them get chased First by of all, zombies you can't call dcf if i'm having an is it experience D dcf it D dfs division of family services oh i don't know what was play county division of children i thought it was, i thought it was department of children and families wow is that not it i don't know missouri was dfs <laughs> <laughs> I know Clay County is. See, across the board, United Clay States County. needs to fix their shit. <laughs> like, they need to fix it. We are in a terrifying climate right now. CCPS. 
Too much. Wait, child, child protective sir. Too much. That's horrible. Just call your friendly neighborhood Ocean Way, you know, neighborhood watch. Y'all have neighborhood watches though, too? Do we have neighborhood watches oh, in Ocean window. Way? We got neighborhood watch. They be waiting for us to put the stuff on the street. <laughs> 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 Terrifying. Well, listen, we will be right back. Yeah. <laughs> With the season coming back, um, I know y'all miss the adult uh, field trips. Those are coming back. Oh. Um, so we used to do field trips. So. So field trips to just like anywhere. So Halloween. Yeah. So we try. We plan it. No. <laughs> do we plan it? We plan it. Not because anybody want to go nowhere with you and then you shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Um, put me in a diaper and so put me in a wagon. Last season we tried to do, wow. we, I know we went to go see Black Pamper, Black Pamper. Black see, Pamper. Black Pamper. That Pamper. sounds like <laughs> porno <laughs> gone wrong. We went to go see Black Panther. Uh, we tried to Black do, Panther. I know over the summer we tried to do um, a water park. I don't oh, know, we'll come up, we'll sit down and come up with some creative things for you guys. Hey, oh, year. you know what, in Jacksonville they have the axe throwing. The they have a bar where you can like where you throw the axes into the wall. They just yeah just open up. It's a oh. lot of. In our Jacksonville. Yeah, in our Jacksonville they have the and it's like a big thing. Like I saw it first up north and then um yeah but you like throw axes into the wall. You can't like cross a line and you I mean. Oh, okay. It's pretty it cool. Is drinking and axe throwing. Yes, drinking and axe throwing. I'm saying. You have to sign a waiver. Probably. I would assume that you most likely have to sign a waiver for that. Okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll come up with some things. You guys make sure you stay tuned to the page. Follow our, our Black Spark Cafe page. Follow it. Um, and you'll start to see to all the adult film. That so somebody said there's a, a scavenger heart. And an idea? Yeah. I go for the meatballs. No, I go to get lost. I mean that's easy. You walk in and you're <laughs> you're like, where is the bathroom? And they're like, okay, go through these three rooms. Listen, and then turn you know left. What makes me mad because they the everybody that works there, all they should of y'all. Haunted house in IKEA. Exactly. Shut off all the lights. No. And run to the no. end. Because like, they, they, like they, 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 shut off all the lights in IKEA no. and find your way out. Because no. you, you know might run into a decor that's just hideous. Huh? <laughs> you know, like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna pitch it to them. Be like haunted house in IKEA. Remove all the stuff that's breakable. Have people with chainsaws. Well, all the stuff is nailed down. Not that I know that, but I just know that the most of the stuff is nailed down. Wow. Uh, you know, so that's you know just a little tidbit for you, just in case you wanted to know. Um, oh, you know what? They have the haunted brewery. Uh, oh, in Jacksonville. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay. And you get like lasers, and you get to shoot people with the lasers. What is it with you and shooting people? I mean, if that's that's why I'm never being cast in a horror movie because. It would be like 10 minutes. It would be 10 minutes. You gotta tell me about the horror. Ah! Shoot it. Wow. End of the movie. And I'm not talking about shoot it one time, because you know I <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> and I just <laughs> sweat that head back yes. in. <laughs> yeah. mm. 
while you double tapping, I'm gonna be <laughs> putting my hands on the top of your head. That's exactly what's happening. I mean, I think, I think they're, I mean, a lot of them, but like a lot of the events, man, I think a good majority of it's like the costumes. And I know for me, um, see, we are family of five plus two dogs. Yeah. Seven is five, that's seven. So, I, incredible. So you would basically be like, you would the like if the world the ended. Incredibles. Oh my gosh! That's the best costume out there. Most played out costume ever. Since we're on costumes, <sighs> if you had to choose, you know, like where where do people actually get their costumes? I mean, I know oh, that Amazon. The, the, no, the second. Have you been to like the second that September thirtieth rolls up? You see the <laughs> Spirit oh, Halloween store. Yeah. The second September thirtieth. Yeah. So I don't no. go there because it's. Okay. <laughs> they kind of turn into like a little haunted house thing. Yeah, too. but I don't go there because those costumes are used. Because the what? people, they, they wear the costume and they retard it. Who's nasty behind is returning I'm costumes? Trying to, listen, I'm I can't. Trying, I I'm can't. Trying, that's what I heard. I can't. Again, the I, same I know friends that of yours people. that are yeah. trying to take the stuff out of but, IKEA. Yeah, that's when they started, the doing, they started doing the, uh, yes. the uh, no <laughs> refund policy. But apparently people were buying the costume and then taking the costume. Their costumes back. are like expensive. Like what happened to just making costumes? Like at one point I was a judge and a high school graduate because I wore the same costume. Um, I was a, uh, let's see, uh, black leotard, a little tail on the back, kitty cat, you know what I'm saying? Sheet over the head, cut out the eyeballs, woo, now I'm a ghost. I'm saying bring back homemade costumes because hands down, I'm not trying to be, no, you know what? You know where you can get cheap costumes? You said Amazon. A Fashion Nova. You they have Fashion Nova men's? Yeah, I did not know. Well, I, I, I did find out they have Fashion Nova men's because I was trying costumes. to figure out. So I have I have recently gained weight. So I realized <laughs> that. Uh, I'm sure honest. The well, first no, step is admitting. Because it. Certain, certain things that you just don't wear. Like the bigger that you get, things you just don't wear. Like did you hear? Jeeves. Wait, repeat that. The, One, the, the bigger that you. Ladies. No, but not, it's not really like, well, you know, what y'all do is uh -uh. what y'all do, but it's uh -uh. the fellas. The fellas be off the It's like, bold. It's no, bold. No, I see, I see him, he had ripped up jeans. Like, he, he had, and it was skinny jeans. You told me that his skin was popping out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it looked like, it looked like, like Buster boys. Biscuits. The <laughs> Buster <laughs> Biscuits. And I was like, oh my God. Now, now, you know, I got my belly from Mix and Blinkers. You know what I mean? So you got the From skinny jeans on, and then your belly is hanging over the skinny jeans, and I'm just like, that's a costume. <laughs> that's Uncle. That's Uncle, Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted. Listen, I don't know. I, I didn't they know that fashion over there. I have to check and see, cause. And they might have a fashion over the Halloween costume, but I know like the women. I mean, yeah, if you're risky. looking for risky, Ooh. sexy, sensual. Secular, you can go to Fashion Nova Women's. You can go to Women's. You can probably go to like Pretty Little Thing, all those like That's AMI cool. Club wear. They all have Halloween costumes on oh, there. See, man, all I know is Amazon, uh, Amazon, uh, Walmart if you're running past. Yeah. Because it ain't going to get there with Prime. <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah. Those are good places to get oh, costumes. Oh, you know what? I have been seeing lately the costumes where like the kids and they're like transformers and then they can like convert down. See, oh, now I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. You but should you do the adult costume? transformer costume. Anyways, I would love to see you knees don't, get down. Yeah, <laughs> knees don't <laughs> translate the same. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, oh, transform! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna stay in this mode. <laughs> No, they had a transform. No, I'm gonna just stay. You know here. what? You know what would be awesome, costume-wise, for kids. If each, if you did each kid, right? Hear me out. I got three kids. So Hear me out. Level it out for all of them. Here, you know what? Your whole family. I got this. Ready? Okay. So, Power Rangers, morphin' time. So each person has their thing, and then when they do like the big morph, so you gonna have a kid on your shoulder, and then another kid gonna attach around your calf, and then somebody gonna like slide you, and you become the big. You know. You really thought about that. Huh? Never been done before. You're right. I don't think anybody will do that. You will. No. I, I think I just gave it. you your costume. No, I think this I'm year familiar. this year, as you could obviously tell, I'm going as uh <laughs> the overweight uh kill bugger. I'm going as a pregnant stripper. Oh. So you're gonna get your stuff professional? <laughs> <laughs> You must have from Walmart. Uh, so, yeah, 
Well, you know what? You don't even gotta go to Walmart. Whatever. It is. Just find out where the stripper shop at. Oh, that's all of the, the little, uh, what's those shops called? DD's Discounts. No, they shop there? I don't know. That's my spot. You know what? I went in there recently. Um, they have Halloween stuff too. Actually, a lot of those stores, Ross, DD's Discounts, Rainbow, I, I saw, I, I, City so Trends. I get my book bags from that. I'm a huge, I love book bags. Uh -huh. So I got, my, I got my wife book bags, my book bags from that. But I never went in there because it was always a madhouse. Like, yeah. Every time. But they have costumes, they have Halloween decor. So oh, okay. we do stuff okay. there. Yeah. I know what terrifies me, Ross, because nothing is sorted when I'm looking <laughs> when I'm looking <laughs> when I'm looking for shit. And it's like, ah, like that. I'm like, 9 a.m. Hi, welcome to Ross. Ah, this this is like, I can't. If, if when I go shopping, I like if I like that shirt, I would like to be able to find the shirt. In well, that that's why I Ross at 9 a.m. is not scary. Ross at 11 p.m. because you know it stays open at like 11 p.m. Oh, Ross yeah. at 11 p.m. On a Saturday, you know what? And you know what blows my mind? When you only find weekend. one shoe, and you're like, "Where's the other shoe? Like, what?" My Somebody God. had one foot that was one size, and then you know their toenails were a little bit longer on the other side. Is that even legally possible? Yes. I may have done <laughs> my past life. My past life. I'm always trying to figure that out. Like, where's the other shoe? Terrifying. It's just like the. That's scary too. That terrifies me. Missing socks from the driver. Where do the socks go? They go to the unknown. They go to Halloween Town, where that, you know, in the movie Halloween Town, when they're doing the, uh, they go to that room and it's like everything that ever gets lost goes to that room. That's where they everything, or they go in the little rubber part of your washing machine. If you just actually just clean that out, you'll find all the socks that you've been looking for. I've done it before. I've done like 15 socks. So about this rubber part, where is this blockade at? <laughs> when you open up the drum okay. and then you like all the... Oh, so I gotta get inside? You gotta get... And yeah. you're gonna find some hair wow. and some dust and wow, 15 okay. socks. I just started vacuuming the little, um, the little lit tray. Don't tell nobody that. No, because that's, that's, it's so much easier. Because you know you have to like, you have to like pull it down and then and your nails it. and it makes that little sound. I don't like that. So well, I would think that you wouldn't care considering since you use the bathroom. <laughs> While playing games. First of all, let Germans. me tell you something. Germans. We have three kids. You have to find a special place. You have to find a special place. Somebody play song music. You have to find a special place. <laughs> but you have three kids. Three kids and two dogs. You have to find a special place. My wife doesn't like to do that. But for me, it's it's the bathroom. Yes. You lock the door. Yeah. One of my kids know how to jiggle the lock, so I really don't get to enjoy it like wow. I used to. But you have to find a special place. <laughs> Terrifies me the most, absolutely hands down, is the lucid dreaming. Like that whole concept of like oh being Molly, <laughs> <laughs> Molly ecstasy. Yeah. <laughs> so you're scary. Okay, that's different. No, I really am afraid of that. Like wow. I've never had it happen to me before, but recently, like I've been seeing a lot of like people that are like they woke up and their bodies are physically frozen, and like they can't move. They can open. They know that they're awake, but it's like they feel like and they. So scientifically, what they're saying is is that your brain is still in the sleep world, but your body is awake, and so you're, you're seeing about the demons. things. You're talking about the demons. The demons. I, well, scientifically. I don't know about the science. I'm going to say that scientifically, just in case it ever happens to me, I have some way to explain this to myself, is that my mind is still dreaming mm -hmm. while my body is awake, but you physically can't move your body. But I did see that... It was very closely related to the whole. No, it's not closely related. It's the demon. I did see that it was they, very. They sit on your chest while you while you sleep it, and then you gotta like. Say the sad music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's what that I'd means. be terrified. Or if you drink milk before you go to bed, that's how you get lucid dreams too. I used to drink milk all the time. Yeah, that's why Warmed you don't want Oh my god! You know what? I drink milk and coke together. Yeah. That's. Sounds like Molly. Like <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Molly. That's why you in the bathroom. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta hide. Gotcha. So terrifying, lucid dreaming, and that's all you guys lucid. Fun. Yeah, and you. That's Molly. Mixing, mixing <laughs> and mingling. So. That's Molly. Listen, all that is is Molly. Oh, my laptop. Look at that. Yo, like, did you? We all have Apple products. Well, I'm sorry. Most of everybody in the Merge of Black Network has Apple products. We're a proud sponsor of Apple products. Android life, gang gang. You do not have anything Android. That's if how you I, got on this show. If I did, it would be pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. Uh, that's for our producers that are in the background that are 
recording this show. They're probably deaf. The camera shuts off automatically. That's somebody being a hater. I'm just letting you know right now. Somebody. <laughs> Alright, so I know this season, um, this is probably one of our lightest episodes. Yeah. So uh, we got some really good topics for you guys, really good guests. Um, I guess the host sounds like she's going to work out. Um, if not, we'll look to replace her. Just throw me in the woods with zombies and that'll get rid of me. Man, any horror movie. <laughs> but, um... So this season is going to be pretty good. I mean, I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited. Yeah, Home. I'm excited. Um, so this is probably one of our lightest episodes. No, we got another one too. We yeah, got a couple. Yeah, yeah. We got a couple. We're gonna go. We're gonna go serious. It's always comedy and serious. That's true. Yeah. That's true. No, some of them episodes they was rough. Like these people. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. some stuff. Some good stuff. Angry. There's a lot of angry people. <laughs> but listen, sometimes we just gotta we just gotta talk about Bring it. it. Um, EB Network, make sure you guys check out the website, check out all of our social media. It's EmergeBlack.com. It's EB1 Network on all our social media handles. I now, because people were fussing at me, um, so now I have my own Instagram now. Wow. Um, I still don't have a personal Instagram Big because things. I ain't got time. It's I am Les Scoop. That's where you can find all my production work, all my photography, um, and our contests that we'll be doing with. Um, L Bar Photography. Awesome. Um, this is another photographer that's in, that signed on the Emerging Black Network. We were supposed to do a battle um, in our last magazine, but we didn't get to it. But I think it's like, it's common. It's definitely okay. common. Uh, but we got the Issues of Black Magazine. I think mm -hmm. that you're Oh! Tell them who you are. Oh, well, my name is Ariel, and I am... Where's this voice come from? Yes. Um, blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Yeah. So, um, and you guys can follow me on my social media what? at Ann, A N Ariel A R Y I E L View. So yeah, on my Instagram. Oh, that is dope. At an Ariel View. So you get to see all things. You know, just how is I view the world. View of you? Top view, front view, side view, pregnant stripper view, forty six in the hips. 38 in the place. <laughs> Shaped like a rectangle. <laughs> Nearly bees. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Perfect. Listen, so check us out. Um, make sure you follow us on all social media. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, send all your complaints. <laughs> now that you have our social media, send them there. I'm ready. And uh, we will see you guys next episode, right? Yeah.